Coliseum, quite a contrast from the protest. Trump revealed a new slogan here in Richmond, but to a decidedly smaller crowd compared to his rallies in the past. We go live now to NBC 12 political reporter Mike Valerio. And Mike, talk about what you saw entire sections of the Coliseum empty tonight. And that's right, Drew. And you know, the Trump campaign is saying, look, its last event here in the Richmond area was on a Wednesday in the fall. This is happening on a Friday night in the summer. That's part of the explanation that the campaign uses for the lower attendance figure today. And you are right to point out there is a new slogan here, not just make America great again, but make America great again for everyone. A subtle difference as the battles begin here in this battleground state. Back in Richmond for the first time as the presumptive nominee, Donald Trump wasted no time taking aim at Virginia politics, specifically Governor Terry McAuliffe's restoration of voting rights for more than 200,000 felons. This whole thing with the prisoners not sounding too good, right? Tonight, Trump made headlines offering a slightly revamped slogan, Make America Great Again for Everyone, an overture to African-American and Latino voters after new allegations of racism. I am the least racist person that you've ever looked at, believe me. For Pedro Rios, he offered to put the controversy around Trump University Judge Gonzalo Curiel in perspective. He shouldn't say stuff like that, but it's kind of small potatoes consider the big outlook on everything else that's going on around us. Compared to his sold out crowd at RIR, a decidedly smaller event in the Coliseum, a summer Friday night with sections left empty, but supporters still sticking together. And I really believe that Trump has opened my eyes and several other Americans to see how how bad we really had it. And I'm going to be here a lot. Do you mind over the next five months? I'm going to be here a lot. Also making their voices heard, top Virginia Democrats assembling outside the arena. I think it's also important to say freedom means that you can't be judged by your religion or national origin. And uh, so his comments seem to contradict what he said about uh, judges. So uh, it seems a little, you know, which one is the real Donald Trump? And of course, his opponent, Hillary Clinton, with Trump offering few clues as to what will be in a critical speech on Monday, expected to be a blistering attack on his Democratic rival. I'm going to make a big speech in New Hampshire on Monday, by the way. It's going to be called the Hillary Clinton something or the crooked Hillary speech. Back here live, Donald Trump has left the Richmond area. He's now on his way to Florida and will continue on tomorrow to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. For now, we're reporting here live downtown. Mike Valerio, NBC12.